dramatic setting for what has become one of the biggest regular gatherings of people on the planet. World Youth Day began on Rio's Copacabana Beach as pilgrims from dozens of nations waved their national flags and gathered in front of a huge stage. These predominantly young Catholics said they'd come to celebrate their faith this week in the presence of a Pope born in Argentina, but whose humility has united Catholics around the world. The Pope is Argent from Argentina. For me, I'm Italian. It's a, it's a very, very much to know the Argentinian people uh, because we are really, really connection Argentina in this, in this moment, Argentina and Italy. I guess just his, uh, his intimate, uh, intimate, intimate relationship with the gospel and all of his sayings, all of his prayers are really, really great. And I guess this uh, kind of poverty and of humbleness gives us a new, a new a side of the church. With a hectic week ahead, Pope Francis didn't attend this event. Nonetheless, a crowd of hundreds of thousands stretched back for over a mile giant video screens relaying images to those further down the beach. This is a huge opportunity for the Catholic Church after so many difficult years of internal strife to re-engage with young people. This opening mass passed off peacefully but there are concerns about Rio's ability to deal with so many people. The city's metro system broke down and security is being reviewed after the chaotic scenes when the Pope arrived in Brazil on Monday. Willa Davis, BBC News, Rio de Janeiro.